<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Craig's Classroom. Today's lesson on Picasso and uh, this well-respected uh, photo editing, organizing, sharing tool from Google. It's a free tool. If you haven't got it already, go to Picasso or google.com slash Picasso and you can download a free copy. But today's lesson wanted to look at web albums. And uh, this is the case where you have photos that you want to share with people, and uh, a web album is the best way to do it. Um, your first inclination may be to email them, but that leads to very large emails. So let me show you a better way. If I switch over to the Picasso program, you'll see here we have a, a, a set of photographs that are in an album, or rather they're in a folder. <coughs> and if I want to share them with... Uh, other people. This is the way to do it. Now, Picasa is part of Google. Google, uh, if you don't already have a Google account, it's simple to do. You just go to google.com and sign in. You'll need a Google account in order to upload your photos online. Um, Google gives you, for free, one gigabyte of online storage, which is quite a lot, and it would take quite a bit of uploads in order for you to max that out, one gigabyte. Uh, however, if you do keep on uploading and max that out well you can you can subscribe for a very very small fee for a year uh, to add more storage space but don't worry about that that takes a long time to fill up even one gigabyte so first thing is you need a Google ID because uh, if you're going to upload to the an online album you have to sign in and here we are in Picasa and let's say I need to share these photographs so up in the upper right hand corner of the Picasso window you see where it says sign in to web albums and this is where you're going to need to um, <clears throat> have a Google I sign in or a Google ID. It doesn't, have, doesn't mean that you have to sign up for Gmail although Gmail is an excellent email but you do know, have to set up a Google account and it could be with another email address that you use. So here I'm going to sign in as uh, one of my, Google, my Gmail accounts. I'm going to sign in and you'll see then <coughs> as uh, it does this on on the next screen the top that I am signed in okay so that'll be the important first step uh, because as you upload it needs to know where who you are that's that's, that's uploading these files so in this particular folder I've got a, a bunch of files that I'd like to share so I'm going to I'm going to upload them now I could go through and I could pick and pick and pick and I could select certain files I'm doing I'm holding my control key down to pick miscellaneous files that aren't connected and I could do that and you see down here in the system in the tray that it's got these this many uh, photos that are selected down here it says I've got seven and uh, those would be the photos that I upload however if I just want to upload the whole folder <coughs> I would either go over to the side over here and select the name of the whole folder here but that didn't seem to work did it so let me click inside this box where there is no photo and that works. So in that case here it says the whole folder is selected. So all I did was I clicked, if I had clicked one or two, those were the selected items, but if I want the whole thing I can click somewhere in the in the neutral space. It, it assumes I want the whole folder and the next step is that I want to upload. So down at the bottom you see these are the different commands that we have and if I click the upload command it's going to uh, just ask me a few simple questions about uh, how to get these online. <clears throat> now, at the top, let's work our way down. The name of the album is the same name as the folder. And if I wanted to change that for some reason, I could go ahead and click the New button, and I could name that with some other name. As I, as I move down into here, I see the next question says, what's the size to upload? And I could choose either the original size, and if you're using uh, very high resolution on your camera, well that's going to take up more storage space, uh, it's going to take longer for people to view the photos because it's uh, more information to download. So the recommended setting uh, that Google has here and that I recommend also is that you use the, the, what it says 1600 pixels. And that's an excellent setting uh, both for printing and for viewing on the screen, but it's not ultra high resolution that takes up extra storage space. The next thing that you see on the screen, and I just have to get back to that, is that it says, what's the visibility for the album? And it says that it can either be public or unlisted or a sign-in required. Public 
In this case, we're working with a, a home for sale. Uh, there, it's going to be on the MLS. It might as well be a public uh, album. Uh, there's no reason why it couldn't be. But if you just want to ever upload an album that's unlisted, then the next step uh, along the way that we'll get to is that you have to send out an invitation for anybody to be able to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for this just this case. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as unlisted. That means it requires an invitation for somebody else to see it. I could choose share with and click the persons that I want to share with. Um, but that requires that you have your Google address book all ready to go and that might not be the case. So let's skip over that for now. And at the bottom it says this is the amount currently that your Google ID <coughs> is currently taking up as far as the free storage. You see over here it's got one gigabyte uh, allowed uh, for free uh, but I'm currently just starting off on this account so I have barely used any of it. And uh, that's basically it. So you can see I really had to change nothing and all I'm going to do is click the upload button and it's going to upload those photos. <clears throat> so depending on your uh, your connection speed here this shouldn't really take all that long uh, and it's going to put uh, online in your free storage account uh, these photographs that um, then you'll be able to invite others to to be able to look at them and uh, if they choose to do so they can download them as well that's one of the nice things about Picasa uh, is that it makes it very easy to share files that people can even download them now the next step is here I'm going to choose the button that says view online and it's going to take me into my Picasso album online and you'll see that it looks very similar to uh, what Picasa shows when you're in the program Picasa is it shows a, a series of thumbnails for all the photographs here. Now, <clears throat> um, the next step really is that you wanted to share this with somebody. So, uh, how do you share it? So, if you see up along here, uh, there is a button here to share, and on the side, there's a button over here that you can share. So, I'm going to go ahead and click share, and it's going to say, uh, Who do you want to send an invitation to? So I'm going to send out an invitation to uh, myself, basically. And I really don't want people to contribute, so I'm going to uncheck that box. And if I wanted to type message, I would type it in there, and that's what they're going to get in an email. I can also send me a copy of this email. Assuming that you were sending it to somebody else, that would be a good thing. You get a copy for yourself and you click send and that message goes out. Now the only other thing that I might show at this point is that um, one of the nice things that you can have also is a, what's called an album cover. <clears throat> so if I go into the, the edit box here, you don't have to do this, but if you do want to change the, the cover, uh, which is the, is the main thumbnail for the album, you can do that under the edit box. You can choose album cover and it will load the photographs here that are in your album and you can go ahead and if you wanted to choose a different one uh, you could go ahead and find the photo that you want to use and see now that has become the album cover and that's uh, that's basically it now the person that you invited will get an email message they're gonna have a link they can click on that link and they can go see your photos and if, and if they want to they can even download their photos but uh, it's a good way to share your photos, get some online. Now, if you wanted to invite more people, you just go ahead over, same thing over here, you go and you click the share button, and you invite some more people to see it. But you're not creating a whole bunch of emails that are very large uh, to send out these pictures in the form of email, which is what everybody tends to like to do, but it's really not a, the best practice to do that. Uh, so Google creates the program Picasa. It's a free download. You install it, pick the folder that you want to upload. We'll go back to that just to recap and uh, we'll see here there is a button that says upload. Make sure that first of all that you're signed in and uh, the default settings work great on the upload and there you have an album online. Well uh, that's it for the lesson here. I uh, wanted to just highlight those how simple it was to create a web album and uh, Stay tuned for more classrooms. Uh, we'll be covering lots more features in Picasa, so hope to see you back soon.